COVID kids vaccine. With rising COVID cases, Inmati conducted a discussion between Dr. J. Amalur Pavanadhan, who set up the organ donor registry in Tamil Nadu, and Dr. Thiruvadi Ganesan, an oncologist. Regarding COVID today, Dr. Ramal says, hospitalization is less, antiviral drugs need is less, monoclonal antibodies need is less, and prone ventilation is no more considered. While Dr. Ganesan says, virus will stay among people but could become like the flu. A combination of the antibodies that increased after getting the disease plus the vaccine help establish better immunity. Regarding kids' vaccine, the government has launched a program to vaccinate children. Dr. Ganesan says, though children do get the disease, only one out of 100 get serious symptoms, which is blood clots in legs or limodia. The reason for vaccinating children was that they can catch infection easily and infect older people in the family. But if we target high-risk adults, children need not be vaccinated. To this, Dr. Ramal questions, isn't vaccinating the elderly and immunocompromised more important than going after all the unvaccinated in a mass camp? They also spoke about long COVID. What is long COVID? While COVID abates, the long-term symptoms of infection are appearing one in five. This is serious. Symptoms like fatigue, pain in the knees and hands, and borderline diabetes becoming full-on diabetes have been observed. Dr. Ramal says, I don't advise vaccines just because they will spread it to their family. The important reason is long COVID syndrome. Dr. Ganesan says, instead of long COVID, I call it post-COVID sequelae. It is a real entity. In India, there is not much research data on this. Both doctors agree that COVID is not going anywhere and so avoiding the infection is the safest bet, especially to stay away from long COVID. Music